Hello guys, you're with Michelle and hope all is well with you all. Uh, today I'm going to be doing something simple once again and it's basically some potatoes uh, with green onions and some ham chunks, just a few. Actually it's about a half a cup and I also got a cup of uh, oil here. Um, all I'm going to do is just cut the potatoes up, cut the green onions up and the ham of course, real simple. Now of course the potato, I got it let, let it sit in water just so it doesn't, um, the color doesn't change. It keeps the color white, doesn't turn yellow and whatnot. And I already, uh, the potatoes, as you know, they when you get them, they are scarred sometimes. So I just cut the scars off of it. But the potatoes are already clean. So I have three that I'm going to work with. And like I said, of course, the green onions. So I'm going to go ahead and take a cup of oil, guys. Just put it into the skillet. Real shallow. Let me go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to put it on how to start with. And let me go ahead and um, start cutting my potatoes, guys. Of course, you guys know, the smaller you cut them, the less time it's going to take. I know my back is against too raw, but see that there a little bit better. All I'm doing is cutting them. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take the ones that I cut and just transfer them into the water. And once they're all cut, guys, I'm just gonna rinse them off again to get some of the skin that came off, you know, when I was cutting them and whatnot. I have to get into practice, guys, but you know, when you're cutting anything, you want to use a claw method. You just want to take your fingers and put them back because <laughs> we need those. And just like I said, just cut them. There's no really no uniformity to it. I feel that oil getting hot, so. Be done in a second, guys. Once I get everything incorporated, guys, I'm probably going to let it cook for about 15 minutes and put you guys on pause because I know you don't want to sit here and, you know, watch the potatoes cook. Whew, it's going to yield a lot. One thing about potatoes, I mean, I only had three and a lot in here, so I'm sure somebody, somebody in the household will eat them. And actually, you know what? I got a person that doesn't eat um, pork, so probably cook the second, not cook all of them, but cook the second batch. No pork in it. Okay, turn this down just a little bit guys. Just use your, you know, your judgment. Alright, there you go. Got the potatoes there. That there. Now I'm just going to do a quick rinse on them. I would pull the strainer out, but I don't, that's not necessary. Now normally guys, what I probably, what I usually, well for the most part, it depends on really how much time I got. But normally I would let these uh, drain, you know, for about five minutes to get all that sets water out because it can get very dangerous, especially, you know, water and grease don't mix. But um, we're going to go ahead and put them in there, but I wouldn't say do this. All right, we'll 
it's not that hot, which is not hot. She gets me. Alright. Guys, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save these here. Like I said, I got a person in the house and stuff. So, uh, it doesn't need meat, basically. So I'm just going to sit these off to the side. Oh, excuse me, guys. Cook this food in there. Now, those are doing this thing. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and, you know how you can buy the green onions in the uh, in the bunch? I just got four out because I love this. I mean, this part, of course, has got all the flavor in it, but this part is like a garnish. So, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these up. And this ink tip piece, for whatever reason, is called the beard. I guess that's the beard. Makes sense. Put all that off. Excuse me, guys. I'm throw this away. Now, it's going to go ahead and... I've already cleaned these, but this excess skin, I'm just going to pull it off. But yeah, they're already being cleaned, got all the dirt off already. So now guys, back up here, just gonna go ahead and cut these. Now I think I wanna turn this down on medium just a little bit, because I want them to get all the way down. Green onions. Off we go. And once again, I'm doing a second batch, so I'm going to save some for that. Go ahead and do a little stir. Put a cup of oil. I really didn't need that much. I was looking for it. And I do now. Once again, I got my garlic and herb seasoning that I love to use. And this, by the way, is salt free. Got some. Nothing wrong with a little extra garlic. And some black pepper. Gotta have that. And this ham, the ham chunks, chunks that I have here, guys, it's already fully cooked. And this right here, um, this was in uh, ham chunks in water, so it's not going to be salty at all. I'm going to go ahead and discard this, guys, and give me one second, please. Put this off my plate here, so once I drain the potatoes, got a cloth, kitchen cloth. I can smell it, guys. I wish you could smell it. Good. Spoon here. Check it out, guys. Alright guys, I'm going to give this probably about a good maybe six minutes and I'm going to put the ham chunks in for about two minutes, turn it off and uh, I'll come back with you guys, alright? Hold tight. Okay guys, I'm back. Alright, they're getting pretty much where they want to be at. And guys, 
I always use this or anything Cajun or Creole, but this is a Slap Your Mama sauce. Well, not the sauce, but Slap Your Mama, the seasoning, Cajun seasoning. Put a little bit on there already. I'm going to add just a little bit more. That's just going to be my sauce there. And the good thing about it is the ham was in water, so it's not soft at all. Y'all know I keep it real in the kitchen. This is my hand bin right here. Y'all see that? Potatoes with the green onions. Give it a quick stir. Getting brown. And now, I got a half a cup ham chunks. Check it out. Here we go. That. Turn it down just a little bit. A little less than medium. Woo! Smells good! Oh guys, too, if you like my videos, please like, share, and please subscribe, and you can hit that notification. Um, last week, I know I put some videos out. They were simple videos, but hey, some people, you know, you'd be surprised what people don't know. Um, and I just show them my, my, my way. There's no right or wrong way to the way I do my videos. It's just what I do. So like I said, that's why I encourage you guys, if you do see something that would, you know, be better for me, Leave a comment and let me know, um, you know, what your thoughts are, your opinions are, you know, whatnot. But like I said, I'm trying to, when I do publish one, I do want to put it out at 7 o'clock. Now, today is Monday the 20th, and I do have one scheduled for tonight. Well, you won't get this until Wednesday. But anyway, basically, I'm trying to schedule, schedule my videos when I do do them at 7 o'clock. And like I said, guys, please subscribe and uh, just comment me. I mean... You know, anything with life, whether it be cooking, whatever your uh, passion is, I'm trying to get better at it. So, your comments will help. Turn it down a little bit more, guys. This is like midway between low and medium. I'm left-handed, so I better pick this up. I'm right-handed, so I better pick this up with my right hand so I don't accidentally drop it. You guys see that there? Not too much oil in there. Got the potatoes, the green onions. And the, um, the ham. Now, honestly, I actually can put some more green onions in it, but I'm not going to be greedy. I'm going to leave it at that. Let this get just a little bit more hard. Let me put it back on the end. And one thing, guys, I do have a habit of doing. If I see something getting out of control, the, um, so getting too high, I'll turn it down and adjust accordingly, you know. I just love being in the kitchen, you know, just learning different things and doing different things. I'm definitely by far an expert, but it works for, you know, me and my family and, and what we do. They like it. At this point, all I can do is get better. That's how I look at it. And I'll probably be doing, I'm not really a starchy starch person, but I, you know, I bought a 10 pound bag of potatoes at the market for $1.99. So I, I'm a firm believer in not letting food go bad. So I might see what I can, you know, what dishes I can cook with potatoes because I don't believe in wasting food. I believe in that first in, first out method, you know, just making it happen. All right, this is looking good. This is looking how I want it to look. Not oily. Um, smelling good. Nothing, nothing is sticking. I think we own something this, this morning. Or when you guys look at it this day, this can be eaten at any point. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Alright guys, we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and set this bad boy off. Got my plate here. With a little kitchen towel so we can get that excess grease off. Go ahead, since we don't have any oil, I'm just going to take it and like such and just put those potatoes on there. Alright, 
right, guys, we have it. Got a few extra onions over here. Put it in there like such. There you have it, guys. Check it out. Potatoes, ham chunks, green scallions just on the top as a little garnish. And plus, they've been already sauteed in that. You guys see that? Let's go ahead and give it a try like we always do. Potato, got that. I know it's going to be kind of hot, but I think my mouth would take it. I like hot food. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I like it. Seasoned good. Got that Cajun on there. A few hams. I like it, guys. That's what's up. I'm going to be eating that as soon as I get off with you guys or hang up with you guys or turn you guys off. Like I say, guys, always be good to yourself and be good to everybody around you. It's very important. Always try to keep that positive energy going. All right, guys. Until next time. Happy Easter.